Hey guys, in this video I will follow up on the cells that I recently received from AliExpress. This is 280 amp hours cells and when I received them all of these cells were swollen. I did individual capacity test for two cells and I've got about 240 to 60 amp hours of capacity. And uh, in this video, what I'm going to do is to assemble these batteries together. They're going to be in configuration two cells in a parallel. So we will have four parallels. So it's going to be 2P4S configuration. And then I will do two capacity tests. First one for uncompressed cells. So the cells is going to be swollen and we will see how many amp hours we're going to get. And then I will compress those cells, charge them back to 365 volts per cell and we'll do another capacity test. This video is going to be divided to three parts. First test uncompressed, then I will build these bus bars and we'll compress cells. And then in the third part, we'll do another capacity test. So if you're interested to see results, what I've got from uncompressed and compressed cells and what is the total capacity for this battery bank, let's jump into the video. All right, so I'm about to start test. But now I'm going to engage this fan to um, eight, 900 watts. And here we go. Let's come back in the seven hours and see results for our discharge test. All right, guys, and here's the capacity result. So I've got from this cells uh, 487 amp hours and the inverter shut it down because of low voltage when uh, here was 480 amp hours and uh, one cell dipped to 2.5 volts then it's jumped back a little bit so i'm using these two light bulbs to to draw any energy what is left in the battery and i was able to get seven more amp hours i'm, I'm guess i'm gonna get about 10 more amp hours right now lowest cell cell number two at 291 volts but at this point real capacity for this battery i would consider as a 480 amp hours because it, it was not able to deliver 0.2 c rating at this point and cell dipped so what i'm planning to do is just to try to compress those cells so i'm gonna use this metal uh, or the brackets and then compress those cells from two sides and we'll do another capacity testing and we'll see if performance is going to be improved i also will need to redo bus bars because this is not going to fit anymore all right now let's try to compress the cells So here's the intermediate result. So on this side, I almost removed all spaces a little bit here. On the back side, it's still a few of them. I need to cut these studs a little bit because my socket not reaching this anymore. But it looks much better.
so earth assembled back BMS is connected inverter connected and charging battery so let's charge this till 365 per cell and uh, we'll do another discharge test so right now we're charging with 78 amps let's come back in uh, about six seven hours and do discharge test okay so charging just finished cells dropped a little bit to um, lower voltage but all of them reached 365 volts now let's start capacity test Now let's wait for 7-8 hours and see results, how many amp hours we're gonna get from cells when this compressed. So while we're doing this charge test, I will provide a quick update about these cells and my conversation with AliExpress and Seller. So Seller is not refusing for refund, but he's asking me to ship these batteries back. I checked with FedEx just by wait for these cells and it's gonna cost me to ship this back to China 1.1 thousand dollars which is in my case doesn't make financial sense because I paid 950 for these batteries I tried to contact Aliexpress explaining problem that cells were already shipped defective but Aliexpress is just like replied with a standard reply like work with seller and here's your 20 bucks coupon as apology then I tried to open case with my credit card company. It's still in progress, but I assume they're gonna refuse and uh, ask me to ship these batteries back. And uh, when these batteries is gonna be shipped back, they will do a refund, which is of course, doesn't make sense for me. So it looks like from AliExpress and seller is like legalized scam. You receive defective item and they know that you're not gonna ship this back because price of, of shipping. So here's a quick update. If I'm going to have any other updates, I will post them in the comments. Okay, let's wait for discharge capacity test. Okay guys, and here's the result. So we've got 488 amp hours. So basically same result as we got last time, but at this time, cell not dipped at 480 amp hours it's it dipped at 488 amp hours so we we've got extra eight amp hours from cell capacity i guess i can drain with light bulb a little bit more but it, as i said before it doesn't make sense so we'll get just extra few amp hours but cells cannot deliver uh, 0.2c rating at this point Okay, so here is the result for compressed and uncompressed cell for grade B batteries. Right, so at this point I'm gonna stop testing these cells. Thank you for watching and see you later.